Man, make a tech a coat. Bro, I'm saying. I'm saying. They, man, they, if. Hold on, let me switch. I'm going to switch real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If Bandai Namco wants to make some extra bread to produce another Tekken game, do what Capcom is doing and keep making collections of that shit. Or remaster Tekken 2. Or the, or remaster Tekken, all your old Tekkens. Fuck it, remaster Tekken, like the first Tekken. I get I guarantee you. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I stand by what I say because I guarantee what I'm saying. Motherfuckers will buy that shit. Come on, be like Bandai Neko, boom. Oh see young Kaiser come in with the tank top and blue jeans. And be like Tekken, Tekken 1 Remastered. Motherfuckers gonna lose their motherfucking shit. Don't even add the bounds and shit to the game. Keep it true to the old Tekken shit. Keep the old gameplay. And be like, this is Remastered Tekken 1. With online. With online. And then after you do Remastered Tekken 1. Do a Remastered Tekken 2. And then after a Remastered Tekken 2. Do a remaster Tekken 3. That's going to be your biggest shit right there. Don't even remaster Tekken 4. Tekken 4 is good. What is that? Anything after 3, don't even worry about it. Just do Tekken 1, 2, and 3. The, the Tekken trilogy, remaster all that shit. And then bring that shit with online. And, and do uh, and do how uh, the Capcom collection did with the, with the Street Fighter. With all the one, Street Fighter 1, Turbo, all that shit. Third Strike. One thing with Rollback Netco online, bro. I hate Rollback Netco, but with, with online... You can't t you can't tell me the whole world is not gonna buy that shit. You can't tell you can leave out the arcade mode and all that shit. No 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 keep the arcade mode but you can leave out all the so you can you can re put in all the cinematic movies at the end of that shit. But remaster those Tekken games and I guarantee you 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 will definitely get a good eighty dollars out of me with that shit. You will get a good eighty eighty dollars no questions asked. Oh y'all re y'all remastering Tekken? Here's my wallet right here. Oops, oops. Well, oh, 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 damn. My wallet walked all the way to the fucking computer. Damn, my wallet walked all the way to PlayStation Network. Oh, shit. My wallet walked. My, my wallet went to the bank real quick to grab some cash. Like, damn, I didn't know my wallet can walk. Fuck, man. A Tekken 2. Oh, man. That's where it all started for me, man, with Tekken 2. Then I went back to play Tekken 1, man. This, this is all when I was a kid, bro. Like, motherfuckers be telling me, oh, you just start. I tell people all the time, you can tell who's been playing Tekken. They whole childhood. If niggas can still do 10 hit combos. People are like, you doing strings? Yes, nigga, that was essential to Tekken. Yeah, Kazuya Tekken 2, man, that made me love Kazuya, bro. Like yo, I'm like yo, devil! Oh, oh, what the fucking butts! Oh, what the oh, oh the purple suit! Oh, and that motherfucker just fucking! Uh, uh, oh my god! Like, come on, man! I promise you, remaster Tekken, and you're gonna have some bitch ass niggas that say, they don't need to do that shit. Shut the fuck up, you don't play Tekken. Stay your ass in the kitty corner. This is a dope table right here. We at the adult table. You ass at the kitty table. And then, I, and then I'm gonna be like, but y'all was sending about all these fucking Street Fighter re re collections and shit, and watching Google like, what? Well, yeah, a lot of people still didn't want, they didn't care, but they didn't like that. So what? What were you talking to your bitch ass? We talk, we t I'm talking about this shit. I'm, I'm going to talk about your bitch ass. Remaster Tekken 1, 2, and 3. And I promise you, you'll get a good $80 out of a, a lot of shit. Probably the old Tekken fans. And, a, and, and I promise you, you'll probably gather enough bread to create a bigger budget for your new Tekken game. Tekken 8 probably won't come out until like 2030. If they remaster Tekken 1, 2, and 3... Right now, man, now so he always go with dead or alive. 
<laughs> you ruined my shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, Natsu. God damn it, man. He's <laughs> like, nah, I need my DOA. Oh, we are talking about that shit. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that yet. Now, if they remaster DOA 2, I'll be, I'll be great. Redo DOA 2, I will love it. I only, I only like DOA too. I hate, I, I hate to break it to you. They did do y'all fucking dirty, but they, but at least they uh still updating DOA six and all that type of shit. But you know what? They can make new games, but they can't make them good games. But I, I feel you, Jay. I feel you. you know, I, I know, I feel you. I feel you. But we gotta start with Tekken. We gotta start with Tekken one, two, and three first, and then we can bug, we can bug uh. Damn, I forgot that company name that did deal with. We can bug, then we can bug them about that. If we get enough motherfuckers to bug them about this shit, I promise you. I promise you. We gonna get what we want. Cause you can't, hold on, I gotta sneeze. Okay, I guess not. They're not gonna, uh, they're not gonna hear what y'all, what y'all trying to say. If y'all don't affect their pockets in a, in a in a certain way, if they see that their pockets are being fucked with, they're gonna start to listen. And I say this a lot about everything, whether it's big corporations and all that shit. You said no, they stopped updating the game after a year. No, they just they just did they not just drop something saying that oh here's our last update or some shit like that. Like if you if you don't like your companies do that shit, just start emulating that shit. Yeah. Anyway, Tekken Collection will be insane. It, man, it definitely be insane, man. And but I do I do wish they'll do the uh, DOA community, you know, a little bit. Uh, yo, that's crazy. Wow, they didn't do nothing with that. Wow. I hate that they did that to y'all though. Like I said, if y'all if y'all wanna uh y'all want these companies to get y'all attention, stop fucking buying that shit. Just say we don't like y'all shit. Like we have to we have to stop saying that oh we like it for what it is. Oh it's a new game we should play it, and just be like fuck this shit. I don't and just be like you need, you got to give it the, the the Sonic movie treatment. If you give these companies the Sonic the first Sonic movie treatment when they did that first trailer, motherfuckers like no get this shit the fuck up out of here. We don't. Get this shit the fuck up out of here. We don't want this. Give that. Give these companies the Sonic the Sonic movie treatment, and I guarantee you, they would say, "You know what? You're right, G. We'll, we'll give us give us a, a, a year, and we got you, G." That's how we gotta do it with some of these gaming companies. Like, uh, I feel like if Nam Namco gonna get their bread regardless, because right now, like, just like Capcom gonna get their garbage. Capcom, their biggest seller is fucking Monster Hunter. Namco, I can't remember which is their biggest game right now, but I know they had Scarlet Nexus and all that stuff. But they they have different divisions in, in Bandai Namco. But with the fighting game sector, with uh, with the, with Tekken and shit, you. Yeah, that's how you can tell I'm a Tekken fan. My fucking uh, Tekken Four music is my alarm. You know why it's, it won't happen? Cause they horny ass motherfuckers. <laughs> About it, about a constant, right? Yeah, right, man. I'd be like, yo, like y'all be, y'all be fucking worried about the wrong shit in these games, bro. I want a good game. I want a decent game, bro. I want a decent game. And I'm not to say like Tekken Six Seven is not a good game, because actually I played, I played, the, I played the fuck out of this. Like last year, I was so burnt out of playing Tekken Seven because I played it all 2020. I, I got good with every character in the game, and I stopped playing because I'm like, yo, I'm tired. Like bring me some, bring me something fresh. But it's a, it's, it's a, still a good game. But I tell people all the time, if you want these companies to see where you're coming from, you gotta fuck with their pockets, and they will listen to you. Give it the Sonic movie treatment, and I guarantee you they will get their act together. Especially with these games. If enough people be like, y'all don't like it, this shit is ass. Fix this, fix this, fix this. I don't want it. And and then they're gonna, and then they're gonna be like. You gonna buy it anyway, and you're gonna be like, I'm not fucking buying it. And then guess what? Y'all stick, y'all stick with that fuck, y'all stick, stay true to y'all word. And then watch when they get their motherfucking quarter of 
quarter uh earnings and then i'm like damn they they was really not playing about this shit and they're like all right fuck it well we finna listen to people now now we got we gotta fix this we gotta fix this i need to do that i need to do that with doa and do the shit with tech and do the shit with street fighter they kind of shitted on Street Fighter 6, and then rightfully so, because that logo was kind of corporate as fuck. But hey, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna get back into that shit. Y'all look at my other gone, gone, uh, you know, anger and the guy that's YouTube, and y'all rewatch that shit. I probably, I point, I probably time, y'all the time and all that bullshit about my thoughts on that bullshit. But we need more. We need us to start like putting our foot down on some of these games, because now, because look at. In terms of on content, but at the same time they went crazy. Yeah, that's fair, G. That's fair. That's fair. But I feel like right now, well, like people need to start like just standing on their shit. They really need to start standing on their shit. Cause look at look at cause look at it right now with like Madden and in and, and 2K. These motherfuckers like these niggas gonna buy this shit anyway. And Call of Duty, these niggas gonna buy it anyway. And look what happened with Call of Duty now. Fucking Warzone is their best game right now. And it's for free, man. It's free. The game Warzone is free. It's fucking free. And it has their best selling game right now. They're getting a Fortnite treatment. You can make a game for free. All the cars, man. You got to pay for that shit. And niggas going to buy it. Genshin Impact is free. And niggas is buying everything. Genshin Impact made over uh, maybe a billion dollars in the last two years, bro. Because they actually listen to their people. They listen to their, their core base, their core fan base. So if we can do the same shit with Tekken, Street Fighter, Dare to Lie, Bring Back Bloody Roar. Guilty Gear is a good game and I've been playing that a lot. They listen to certain people, maybe some guilty gear fans, they want some of the old shit back, but it is what it is. But if enough people go and say, hey, fuck this shit, fuck this shit, fuck this shit, I'm not buying it, and stand on that shit, and just, it don't have to feel like I'm missing out, these companies will get it. These companies will definitely fix their shit. Call of Duty had to fix their shit. Madden 2K, they don't want to fix it because they know these niggas gonna buy it anyway. They're gonna fucking buy it anyway. So why the fuck, how oh, I'm gonna fix my game? Why, why would I fix my game if, if billions of people are buying my shit every year? How can we know if we fucking up if only two or three hundred people telling us we fucking up? But I'm looking at the numbers and a billion of people are buying our shit anyway. Fuck those 500 people. If a billion people fucking keep buying my shit, why, 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 why are these 500 people making a difference? You know how you can make a difference? Well, stop buying their shit. I, I keep saying this. I guarantee they'll get their act together if y'all stop putting y'all money into this shit. I actually tell them what y'all want in the game. I feel like they could have did better with Tekken 7 by keeping out these fucking uh, 2D fighters. And actually fucking make a Tekken Cross Street Fighter like they said they was gonna fucking do. They don't play with my emotions. Right, man. Just like bring, bring back all these, like, we keep telling y'all bring back these games. We will fund you for it, but Know how some people are, you know how broke some of these gamers are, they don't want to do it. They can't do it. They don't have the funds to like front to be like to buy this shit or to help them fund this shit. And and, and of course, of course, with you know, legal you know, legal matters with these uh with these companies or whatever, and with certain games being owned by other companies and all that stuff. If enough people start talking about a lot of this shit, I guarantee you they will get their shit together. Like, I got money to spend on it. Right. You know what's funny? I will, for me, I will always find a, find a way to get the bread. I will always find a way to get the bread because if I'm that determined for motherfuckers to, if I'm that determined for something to be great, I will always find a way to make it work. I will always find a way to make it work. So if we want better looking fighting games, we want better games in general. We don't need we don't need to, uh we don't need no stinky. Nigga that don't take their neck, they showers, neck beard, foul, smelling motherfuckers to tell us about some dumb shit about a game. So I'll buy the Darkstalkers collection, even though I never played, but yeah, though, but I want that. The French, right, we, they did a, yeah, like, Darkstalk, I think they, they made a comeback uh, recently or some shit like that. Like, yo, motherfuckers was hyped, like, yo, this could be the revival of fucking Darkstalkers. I never played Darkstalkers, but I do, uh, but Dimitri is one of my favorite characters in the game. 
Nigga like, nigga like, you in the bench with the claws. Oh no, oh my God, you don't play the game, but hey, I, it's some characters that that like that pull me in, but I'm not gonna play. It's it's fun to watch. And I know a couple, and I know a couple people that that love Dog Stalkers. You got uh, you know, Kendra, fucking uh, and Ju Juju, like they 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 they're the, they're them. They're the ones that they, they, they put me back they kind of put that game back in my in my memory banks Because I'm like yo, I haven't seen this game in a minute. I never played it, but I always watched other people play it It's not a bad game. It's, a, it's like a, it, it reminds me of Street Fighter, Street Fighter Alpha You know anything that's like Street Fighter Alpha, I'm gonna look at it because I like how Street Fighter Alpha is Those sprites and shit is fucking crazy. I love it. I love it. The Marvelous Cat. I love it He said maximize the chance of uh um, and maximize the chance of bringing back the other game. Right, Power Stone Robbers. Like, if more people were actually put in, and fucking bro, and Project, uh, it, it, yeah, School Rivals and Project Jump, yeah, man, like, if more people can say, oh, we need to bring this game back, we need to bring this game back, like, we need more people to say that shit. Like, actually stand on that shit. So, don't worry, I know we kind of veered off in, in many different ways, but. In, in my typical fashion, I'ma always bring it back to you. I'ma always bring it back until we start saying this shit and get and putting this shit on the map. We gotta be like, all right, let's start with this first. And me, I want them to start with remastering Tekken One, Two, and Three, and have online. Don't change how the game is played. Change how it looks. Make make the looks improve. It kind of fix some certain things in the game, but. Redo that shit. Don't put the bounds. Don't put the you know we can keep the the, the how the, the style of juggling was back then, but don't do the shit like they're doing the second seven or they're doing the second six. Like do that. Do those things. Like I, <laughs> I swear everything I will be a rival school content creator. I ain't gonna hold you not to. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I will be on that shit too. And motherfucker just won't know it. Like hell. I like I never thought that I will be a Guilty Gear player. When Guilty Gear Strive came out, I never cared for it. And motherfuckers will tell you, like, yo, you just talking shit about Guilty Gear. Now you want it? You know, I'm like, yeah. All it took me to sit down one day and just play, play that shit at a homie crib for like three hours to be like, you know, I want to buy this. I want this. I really want this game. And I got it. Some people helped me get it. it, it I, I, and I've enjoyed it ever since. Got the DLC and every fucking thing. Please put a proper tutorial on Rival School. <laughs> oh, man. But it, it all starts when we start speaking out and start actually putting forth this shit. All we, all we gotta, the, here's how we can do this shit. Ask questions. Always ask a question. Hey, whatever company this is, what can we do to revive said game? The worst they can say is we're done. We're not, we're not remaking that shit. Then if they say we're done making that shit, just like, so what do you think about just re-releasing re the game on or porting it to a current gen console? The worst they can say is that we're not fucking doing that shit. Go buy the old consoles and play that shit. Next thing they probably say is, what do you guys want to do for it? Are we going to, are you guys going to push it for it? You guys going to buy it? Because we have to uh, pay other people to, we have to pay the developers to port the shit to a, a current gen console or to the Switch or some shit like that. We have to pay them. We gotta pay other people to re-release. We gotta pay for distributing. We gotta pay to, you know, all, all that shit. Add online, recode the game and all that shit. We gotta pay those things. So what do you guys want to do for it? You can't just be talking about what y'all want, but y'all not following through on y'all shit. We following through on giving y'all the game that y'all want. But are y'all gonna buy it? Are y'all gonna push it? So you know what's crazy? I was I was the same with a lot of games. I thought I thought games was as from yeah as then. I sit back and actually try to understand the game. Then I find it right exactly, bro. Exactly. That's how 
Well, with Street Fighter, fuck that game. I no fuck Street Fighter. No, I don't care for Street Fighter. Fuck that game. I might play it. Cause you know homies play but i'm not gonna say oh i enjoy street fighter yeah <laughs> i love that game <laughs> so like yeah like we we have to really start doing that like these companies got twitters and shit. why can't we just like start a campaign that's why i want to make a mock branding for games that we haven't played in years and they would oh we Ooh wee. Ooh. I got a great idea. I'm not gonna tell y'all yet. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna fucking do it. Yes. I ain't gonna tell y'all. Y'all just gonna see it. Y'all, when, when I post y'all, y'all gonna be like, "Yo, this nigga really going for it." I'm be like, "Look, we gotta start something. We gotta start something. We gotta do something because there's a lot of shit that we I can't I can't give you the plan yet. It, it, it gotta it gotta officially be in motion. It has to officially be in motion for me to be like, "I bet this is what I want to do." Nope, I got I got I gotta do it. I don't want I don't want to say nothing and jinx it. I'm gonna do it. But I have a great idea. Matter of fact, what my uh I need my I need my idea notebook. Is that it over there? <laughs> Let me grab my pen. I'm about to go crazy. Y'all not ready for this shit. I'm gonna do some shit that I did back in college. When I was learning how to do uh when I was learning how to do branding and shit. <laughs> 